basically I graduated uh, and then I went home. Obviously I didn't think I was going to keep playing soccer so I was just going to get a job kind of in a marketing firm in Colorado and then one day I just got a call from Dabo, the goalie coach here, and he was just like, I'm down at the Rowdies now and they're having a, they're having a tryout so if you want to come down and try out. And I was like, well I'm not doing anything this weekend. I'm literally at home. I was supposed to be here for a weekend and then it turned into like a whole month. So I only brought clothes for like a weekend, so I was wearing the same clothes for the entire month. It was just a whirlwind of like everything happening at once where I was a pro, I was getting to travel, and just to be able to start my first pro game. And my first year, I was just like, no way this is happening, so I was shocked. Zach Portillo is getting his second start as a professional. We were just training, and I didn't really hear it, but everyone heard like a pop. Pretty soon they, they realized it was, I tore my Achilles. He was playing and starting, and he was a pro, and the dream was coming true, and then after two games, like the lowest of the low, he just hits rock bottom and he's going to be out almost all season. I was really disappointed just because I was like, I don't know if I'm ever going to have a chance to play again or when I come back, like what's going to happen. When I'd come to practice, I literally really couldn't do anything. I would just have to sit there and just watch. Or when I go to the games, I would just have to sit there and watch. So that was probably the hardest thing. I mean, not the physical therapy in, in general, just the fact that I literally couldn't do anything. Obviously it was a struggle with everything he wanted to do. He didn't, I mean, it's really hard to go through all that and it's a constant process every day and you feel like you're not part of the team. So I try to just try and make sure he feels connected and I mean all the guys did that as well. The team was awesome. I mean, I don't think I could have got through with a, with a team that didn't really help me and they were all really supportive. We went grocery shopping and he got the little scooter. Chris was having a good time. He took a couple snapshots. Um, and then the thing when you use those, if you like go past something, you have to back up because you need to get it. I hear a little beeping noise and beeping, and I like look down the aisle, and he he was just going to reverse, like and then trying to reach up and grab something. <laughs> I offered to give him piggyback rides, but he said no. <laughs> yeah, I just had to carry all his groceries. I don't think I, he ever let me carry him anywhere. I couldn't let myself get down to that that level of embarrassment. <laughs> He's been back for a week, week or two now, and I mean, it's almost like he hasn't been gone. I'm not 100% yet, but I'm getting close, so it just feels good to be back out there just running around and being able to do stuff like I used to. almost forgot how he used to play. I forgot how, how good of a player he actually is. Life is crazy. Whatever you do, you can't plan for what's going to happen to you in life. I mean, sometimes you'll be on top of the world like I was, and then you'll be at the very bottom the next day, literally. So I think the biggest thing for me is I just learned that Whenever it happens in life, you just gotta move forward.